Hi, my name is Trevor Lund of RevTrev.com, and today is ministry coaching with Rev Trev. Now, I don't know when I'm going to have time to post this because uh, you might be able to see this on YouTube, but my site, RevTrev.com, is experiencing errors, and <laughs> I don't know exactly why that is, but it really could be because I'm getting all kinds of traffic because I've just released, re-released my Twitter tips with Rev Trev. And uh, if you are on Twitter and you're doing ministry, listen, I want to teach you how to do ministry online with Twitter. So you can go to RevTrev.com slash Twitter hyphen tips dot com and uh, download that free ebook. It's 100 pages. It tells you everything you need to know about how to get the kind of influence on Twitter that I have. Really, Twitter expands my ministry. Twitter, uh, I pray for people on Twitter. We see miracles. We see all kinds of things happening. And the more people I can get doing this, the better it is for the kingdom. And uh, so happy to do that for you. Now, but today in this ministry coaching, I want to talk about how to have an unstoppable ministry. Now, you might not know this about me, but I am a student of history. I absolutely love history. I fell in love with history when I was reading the Bible, and it suddenly occurred to me when I was just a kid that people like David really existed. People like Goliath really existed, and I fell in love with history. And uh, as I studied history, it reinforced my love for the Word, and then as I studied the Word, it reinforced my love for history. But did you know, why do you think that the Roman Republic could expand and survive the way that it did. It, it might surprise you. You know, if you, if you look at the history of Rome, you're going to see that it's not that they won all the battles they fought. In fact, they constantly lost battles. It wasn't that, that, that their technology was so much more superior. It wasn't so much that their, their generals were so much stronger. In fact, like when Hannibal came in, he completely beat army after army after army after army after army. That They never, <laughs> they could not beat Hannibal on their own ground. Now, here's their secret though, and this is a secret that really can be applied to any ministry. The reason why Rome did so well was because every time an army got defeated, they had the administration in place to create a new army. Every single time. They, they had a system in place that they could actually always grow a new army, a trained army, an army to go out and fight the next battle. And too often in ministry, I'm meeting people who are starting out ministry and uh, doing ministry, and, and we don't put an emphasis on the gift of administration. Honestly, if when I was in the church... After about three years, I decided, like, you know what? <laughs> the next full-time position needed to be a church administrator. Uh, it is so imperative that you have good administration in a ministry. If you have good administration, you can launch that event. You can grow that church. You can expand that reach. And really, administration is putting the right systems into place. Now, part of my vision and my dream for Expectancy Ministries is I want to be sharing with you the things that I've learned. Uh, big big picture, I, I don't know when I'm going to be able to release all of these things and do all these things, but I can do some things administratively that other people can't. And, you know, if it's even, you know, running your Twitter account, like, I can show you how to do that, which is what Twitter Tips at Rev Trev is all about, but if you don't have the time, if you don't have the ability, if you don't have those things, you know what, there's people that can help you, and I'm generally one of those people, but um, I only take a limited amount of clients, but that's it's not a pitch, I don't know, know why I said that, but the point is, don't discount administration, you know, you can, <laughs> I'm just laughing, because we did, uh, I did an interview today, four interviews with my friend uh, Gary, you're going to see on Rope Drive TV, and uh, Gary's an amazing guy. He does amazing ministerial work. And it was just funny because we, we did a, not f it was funny. It was a good learning experience. We did, we did a seminar together. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's almost, it, it, Gary's not the only one. Like, you, you, you almost get the expectation that, you know, if I, if I announce this, if I promote this, if I do marketing, it, it's not really God. It's really me. 
You know, like if you send out 10,000 postcards, you're going to get 0.27% response in the States and about 0.14 response in Canada. So if you do, how many people do you want to show up to your event? Like multiply that out, like do 10,000, do 20,000 postcards, you're going to get those numbers. It, it's that's simple marketing that, that, that can take place. And, and really, you know, it, sometimes I, I'm, if that's all I can do, then I'm doing it and it's not God. But I understand those, those kind of hesitants hesitant things that are happening um, but you know, look at it this way the people I help when I do seminars or when I do events it, it, they, they generally you know need help hearing from God <laughs> and if, if the only ones that come to my event are ones that hear God and say, God tells them to come to this event and they find out about it and then they come and they get blessed. Great. But they don't, they aren't really my target. They aren't really my target because I'm trying to get people to help to hear God, help people to hear God, not um, get the people who can hear God and who come and get encouraged. Anyway, we are going to be talking a lot more about the gift of administration. We're going to be giving you tips. We're going to, I'm going to be showing you how to, uh, um, you know, simple things like how to use Google Squared to find all the churches in the, in the area, uh, how to, you know, do a cold call list, how do, you, how do you do a hot call list, you know, how do you do these things that they don't teach you in Bible school. And when you're in business, you learn the hard way. <laughs> and not everything I'm going to say is going to be applicable for everybody, but I am going to put it out there and show you those things. But anyway, today's point was to have an unstoppable ministry. You need to have great administration. You need to. And uh, if you don't have it yourself, look around. God's going to provide those people to help you administrate the things that he's called you to do. Anyway, I've got a website to fix. And <laughs> my name is Trevor Lund. I'm with RevTrev. Dot com, and this has been Ministry Coaching This Week with Rev Trev. God bless.